What is going on guys? It is your boy Charisma NYC. I'm bringing you guys another brand new YouTube video as you guys can tell. Um, today we're going to be doing a Photoshop tutorial and today's tutorial is going to be creating simplistic thumbnail designs for yourself or if you're a designer and you want to design thumbnails for someone else, which I indeed do. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to do something like this. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for um, a thumbnail stock pack that I personally use that I put together with my own stocks. It is not going to be free, unfortunately. I'm going to list it as like two bucks. It will be on my SoFi. Link will be in the description below for your download. Uh, I'm going to go through some examples right about now so you guys can get a look of what I've done and what you guys will be learning. I'll be right back with you guys in just a second. Video. I'm going to be using a picture of Savage. I'm sure he won't mind. I did use it for a thumbnail. I believe the thumbnail name was they had sex, but we're going to do. Um, I think we're going to do it like I got caught again. I'm just going to show you how to do something just like this. Um, we're going to crop out the image. We're going to do this quickly. Um, so, which basically we're just going to use our quick selection tool. We can access that tool by hitting W on our keyboard or just clicking on the tool W on our keyboard is our shortcut. So, I'm going to cut this young man out. I believe um, this was an easy cutout with the quick selection tool from when I did indeed make this, which it actually is. You just gotta fix this point right here. Um, fixing that point, we're just gonna hold all on our keyboard, which allows us to move the point backwards or the like lines, the selection lines, or whatever the fuck you wanna call them. My apologies. So what we're going to do is, since we have this all outlined, obviously we're going to touch it up a little bit. I've, since we have this all outlined, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control J. Basically by doing that, we're going to be duplicating the image that was just selected. So we're going to uncheck the bottom layer, and we're just going to be left with the image that we just selected out. So next we're going to hit our pen tool. We're going to use our pen tool for a little bit, and we can access our pen tool by hitting P on the keyboard. But first of all, we're going to make a new layer, and we're going to hold Alt Backspace. And make the background black so we can kind of find the colors like the outlines that we missed and you know um, get those out easier if that makes any sense see like how it has red on the outlines we're gonna get those out with the pen tool my apologies for that it's probably a very loud noise we're just gonna cut these out using our pen tool we're just gonna click and drag if you guys know how to use the pen tool that's cool if you don't, um, this isn't going to be a tutorial on how to use it. I can link one down in the description below, but I'm going to speed this up as I cut him out perfectly and the best I can for this video. So I'll be right back with you guys in just a moment. Alright guys, for the time constraints of this video, I did cut this out as fast as possible. I understand I missed a spot, but I want to make this video as fast as possible. Obviously, it's going to be your own thumbnail. You're going to make this as quick as possible. So, since we have this image cut out already, we're going to go ahead and we're going to drag it over. And guys, I'm going to show you this tool that, like this filter, I guess you want to call it, that I am literally in love with. It's... One of the best filters, I think, in Photoshop, and it's a stock filter um, that comes with your Photoshop when you do buy it or if you crack it. If you go that way, since you don't have the money, um, I understand, but I do not recommend that in any way, shape, or form. But if you guys do have Photoshop, this is one of the standard filters that come with it. We're going to click filter on our top, located on the top of the Photoshop bar, like in the program, and we're going to go to camera raw filter. This is literally awesome. You can just adjust the exposure of like of the image, contrast, everything, highlights. I just mess around with these so I can get like the best like image possible that looks the best, like color correcting. Um, the person I'm making the thumbnail for, and literally this is my favorite. The clarity, I don't know, it makes it. It puts this cool effect on it, and I really do like it. The vibrance, you don't want to mess around with that much, and the saturation so we're just gonna hit ok and right now obviously it looks a little weird the quality isn't the best but you know we did our best next we're gonna go to filter this is gonna be a filter I did indeed buy which is Topaz Labs so we're gonna go to Topaz Denoise 5 um, it's just a nice plug-in and this is gonna get rid of the edges just a little bit and it's kinda gonna smooth out the bad quality in the image 
it looks like it messes up. It looks like it puts a little blur on it. Yes, but it does help, okay? Okay, so next, we're going to be using our thumbnail stock pack. And for our background image, we're just going to go into here. We're going to find a map shot. You guys can use any single map shot. But personally, this is what I like to use. I have my own pack. I have my set images that I do enjoy using for the thumbnails. So we're going to have our image, and we're going to drag this layer down below, and we're going to click on our bottom layer, and we're going to make a new layer. Whatever you guys don't have. You're going to make a new layer. You're going to go to your foreground color, and you're going to make this completely black with your hex code 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Whatever gets you black. So you're going to hit enter on your keyboard, and you're going to hit alt backspace. That's going to be your quick fill, um, what the hell is it called? Shortcut or quick fill shortcut. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to, um, we're going to turn down the opacity a lot. We're going to put it to about 17. So our main focus is not sticking that image, not having that image stick out the most. But next we're going to duplicate our image. We're going to go to filter. We're going to go to blur and then we're going to go to Gaussian blur and just about, um, I'd say right around here looks completely fine. We're going to hit E on our keyboard. That's going to bring our eraser up. And we're going to make our eraser bigger by hitting the bracket keys on our keyboard located next to the P on your keyboard or backspace down below towards the left or right. Whatever kind of weird keyboard you have. What we're going to do is now we're just going to erase the blur layer. We're going to be on the layer that we just blurred out. We're going to erase around the key aspects of the image, which we're just going to have those parts of the image stick out just a little more than they did okay so we have our image now we're gonna turn this we're gonna actually put that to 10 percent so next we're gonna do our which is definitely an easy simple simple part is we're gonna click on our person that we cut out and we're gonna go to FX and we're gonna go to drop shadow now drop shadow is literally the key to more success wise words of DJ Khaled and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a nice color Actually, we're gonna go blue so we're gonna go blue for this one we're gonna turn down the opacity a little bit and the size just about there so our opacity we're, our blend modes on normal our opacity is on 83 and our size is about 150 and our spread we can mess with this a little bit but that just determines how much like how big the drop shadow is gonna be on our character or player or whatever you call them. next we're gonna make a new layer and it's gonna be underneath our person we're gonna hit B on our keyboard and we're gonna go back into the drop shadow and we're gonna get this hex code we're gonna hit control C to copy and we're gonna go into our foreground color and we're gonna hit control V to paste Give or take, we might have to make it a little brighter because we're going to end up turning down the opacity on the image. But what we're going to do, is we're going to zoom out. We're going to hold all in, hit our scroll wheel backwards or forward to zoom in, backwards to zoom out. We're just going to hit B, B, oh my goodness. We're just going to gently take our brush and we're just going to fill the bottom of it. And we're going to go to fill and we're going to turn that down to about 65. And yeah, that looks okay. So... Actually, we're gonna no, we're gonna mess with this a little bit. My apologies. Okay, so that looks perfect so far. So next, we're gonna go into our thumbnail stock pack. Um, and this pack, I'm telling you guys, is definitely the most helpful pack there is out there for your thumbnails. I use this every time. I usually don't use packs, but when I do my thumbnails, that's what I use. So if you do choose to buy this pack, it's going to be $2, like I said at the beginning of the video. We're going to go into our dust and particle section, and this is literally my favorite, one of my favorite stocks that I use for my thumbnails. We're just going to put this in, and we're going to make sure it's behind our images, just like so. And we're going to zoom out just a little bit. We're going to make this smaller, so it kind of, you know, fits our thing. We're going to duplicate it, we're going to hold all on our keyboard, and we're just going to drag, which is going to be a nice little shortcut to duplicate it, and then we're going to, and then we are going to go to transform, we're going to go to edit transform, hit horizontal, we're going to flip it horizontally, so it kind of evens out how much um, particles are in the background. So right now, this is already looking pretty sweet. Like I said, it's just a nice simple thumbnail. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that you guys can use every single time. It's definitely unique and pretty freaking sweet. Next, we're going to go into our spark section, and I use this literally almost every time, which um, I believe, which one was it? 
I gotta find the right one, guys. My apologies. This one is definitely a good one right here. We're gonna just put our sparks on the bottom. Kinda... No, we don't want them to stick out too much, but we do want them to stick out if that makes much sense. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, we're going to hit Control u on our keyboard, and we're just going to turn that to a blue, just like this. It's going to be plus 142. We're going to hit Delete on that one, and we're just going to hit Control j Oh, we're just going to hold all, and we're going to duplicate this side of the sparks as well. So now we have something like this. And now for the text, this is... Um, all personal preference um, for the sake of this video um, <laughs> what would be a cool unique title we could do I hit a trick shot um, insane trick shot on a certain map um, I don't know we're just gonna stick with the plan and we're just gonna go with I got caught so one of my favorite fonts for thumbnails is Kenyan coffee literally amazing font shout out to so so see so so whatever your name is how you pronounce it um, a shout out to you for this font it's insane I love it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the font our first font is gonna be prime time um, definitely a unique font as well what we're gonna do we're just gonna change our color to white and we're gonna search and we're gonna type it we're gonna make sure our caps lock is off too we're gonna type in I got oh, can't spell still can't spell we're gonna do I got for that and then we're gonna hit we're gonna make a new one I'm going to change our font to Kenyan Coffee, and then we're going to do Caught. Okay, we're capitalized. Caught. We could use that font. Also, another good font is, uh, it's on the Face Studio thing. It's Goijons, Goijins, however you say it. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. Um, another good font that is on the Face Studio uh, store that is available for pur purchase that I did buy. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using a free font. Because if you guys want to get better at your thumbnails, I'm already offering a pack that unfortunately is not free in the description below. So, it's the least I could do. So, with our text, what we're going to do is we're just going to make it this bigger. We're going to... Actually, well, we're going to line these up so we get the same size. I'm going to move that down just a little bit. Okay. We're going to do this first. We're just going to make sure this is the same size. We're just going to wing it, which it kind of looks pretty pretty even. Um, actually, we're going to do it like this. We're going to make the T go to the end of this part of the T right here, which definitely looks a lot better. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control T. We're going to click on both of our layers. And we're going to make them both bigger at the same exact time, kind of giving it, making sure it's the same size. We're going to actually make this a little smaller. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to hit T on our keyboard. There's going to be a shortcut to bring up our text tool. And we are going to make a um, question, question mark, which we're going to use the font Kenyan Coffee for this one. And what we're going to do here is... Hold on, we gotta figure out what this the size of this font is. My apologies for this. Okay, so we have 4898. We're gonna take our question mark. We're gonna make it this 4898. 4898. So it is the same size as our um, as our I got caught thing. And actually, I might just be savage. Do it this way. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna. We're going to use our ruler so you can get the exact size for the question mark. Um, sorry about that. We're going to put it about there. And we're just going to hold shift and drag so we don't dis deform the question mark. And now we have something like this. So make this a little smaller. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it this way just a little bit and we can move it over like so so now we have something like this so now this is the easy part i want to say is doing our layer styles for our text so we're going to do our caught this is going to be kind of like a white so we're going to go into our gradient maps and we're going to use our default gradient right here we're going to click ok on this and we're just going to turn down the opacity to around 25 that seems about right we're going to put our opacity to 25, and then we're going to go into our inner glow. And we're going to turn this to normal, and we're going to turn this to... Actually, 
we're good. That's gonna stay normal, and then we're gonna put it to the hex code A1, 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 and we're gonna turn the opacity up a little bit. It's gonna be around 15, 14, 15, same area, just around there. Next, we're gonna go into our inner shadow, and this is kinda gonna put a little cool effect on it. Uh, kind of thing on the text and the inside if you guys can see it right there kind of put a little cool effect on it if you guys couldn't notice um, so we're going to make that about 7 our opacity 32 and our size about 7 uh, we're going to fiddle around with the choke just a little bit okay that looks about right and we're going to go down to our drop shadow and we're going to make this black and then we're going to turn the size way down to about 50, the opacity down a little bit, and then we're going to go into our stroke. And we're going to make sure our position is on the outside, our size is on 1, and our color is on black, and our opacity can go all the way up to 100, and we can hit OK on this. Giving it this kind of cool effect, it kind of makes the white and gray, like the colors pop out like nicely, you know. So we're going to go to the I got part, and we're going to go into our gradient overlays again and since it kind of has this little default thing on it we can just hit click our color we're gonna make our bottom color kind of um, hmm, I'm really not too good with layer style so bear with me here we're gonna make our bottom color like a blue like that and our top color kind of just like a blue like this yeah this looks pretty good so we have a blue like this um, and then we can kind of mess around with our inner shadows and everything well which we're gonna kind of make it with that color and we're gonna go our inner glow excuse me and then we're gonna let me find the right color here we're just gonna just kind of wing this part and then we're gonna put a drop shadow same drop shadow as the other it'll save and then we have our text just like this and we're gonna hit we're gonna right click we're gonna hit copy layer style and we're gonna paste it onto the question mark part and now we have a nice simple thumbnail just like this that it's literally done already also another cool kind of thing actually yeah, no, we're not gonna do that but really and then last but not least we're gonna make a new layer we're gonna hit B on our keyboard our foreground color should be white make sure our caps lock isn't on we can so we can see our brush what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit all we're gonna zoom all the way out we're gonna put a nice light right about make this guy a lot bigger put a nice light right on top and we're gonna turn down the fill to uh, about 50 so yeah guys this is creating simplistic thumbnail designs for yourself or anyone that you want to do thumbnails for I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful for you guys please take your time on cutting out the image it didn't come out too bad in this thumbnail but um, please take your time on cutting out the image as you want the best quality as possible um, we do choose to buy this thumbnail stock pack all this stuff is included and whatnot so i want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you did please make sure you leave a like comment if this if you found this video helpful um it's about it's as you can see it's 2 11 in the morning i got school in a few hours i couldn't sleep so you know what i just wanted to bring this out to you guys so like comment subscribe comment if you found this video helpful check out the links in the description below check out my twitter in my Twitch, which I have been streaming frequently on, but I kind of sound like a lost cause here at the end of the video, so I'm going to end it now. So,